All right, guys, we are here with a Bag Knives <clears throat> uh, slip joint. This is their new packaging. Kind of cool. This particular one is the BG036. Now, a lot of their new slip joints don't come with names, okay? This one actually does. This is the Bullet Train or the Silver Bullet. Blade HQ has it listed as the Bullet Train, but I'm pretty sure that when I had lunch with Mark Begg, he told me this one was called the Silver Bullet. So here's what you get. You get some paperwork, a couple stickers, and an actually a monogrammed microfiber, I guess you call it, uh, and the embroidered zipper pouch. Kind of cool. Like you're getting a lot for really little money. Now, this is not meant to be a commercial. You guys know that I am friends with Mark and Mattia over at Big Knives. Uh, I'm also friends with Todd Big over in Texas at Todd Big Knives. Different, we've talked about that before and that, that's there you go. I don't care if you buy this or not. I'm gonna put a link to Blade HQ down below. I don't get nothing out of it. It doesn't give you a discount. Like it's just a link that anybody can find online just to make it easier for you guys, if you so choose. It's $53. I, if you're into these small slip joints, this might be a good option for you in that price point. It is small, okay? It is a smudge magnet every time I touch this steel bolster or the silver bullet. Okay, whatever. Does have a lanyard hole. G10, 14C28N, reverse Tonto Warncliffe blade that, of course, gets fingerprinted up and smudgy just from opening it. These satin finished blades are not my favorite just for that reason. But that's okay. You might be. Slip joints in general are not my thing. I have enough stuff in the bottom of my pockets to just throw this in at the bottom, okay? It is what it is. It's all good. Um, lockup is super solid. Now, they have gone through and they did a bunch of testing on the walk and talk, how much pull strength it takes to open, how hard it stops, how hard it opens. It's a whole slip joint thing. I'm not a slip joint guy, so I truly don't understand. I will tell you, this is a really good, uh, uh, the strength is just right, the resistance is just right, um, the pull is just right, it's easy to do, right? You have the fuller, some of the other ones that I have from uh, having lunch with them that I'm going to be showing over the next you know, several days, a couple of weeks. I'm going to try to mix them in with other knives. Um, some have like little nail nicks and things like that. And I hate when it's, when there's not enough to grab, you have to use the nail nick and put your fingernail in there because it feels like it's going to rip your thumb off, thing, thumbnail off. This one does not feel like that. This one is a really good weight of the pull. And that's by design. As they were designing these, they really went to several shows and they had hundreds of people just randomly test and ask, do you want this stronger, lighter? Try this one, try this one, try this one. Which one do you like the best type of thing? And I think they nailed it. Their factory in China. Yes, they're, these are their overseas production versions. Nailed it. All right, so some specs on this guy's 13 and... Three and 13 sixteenths, not 13 and three sixteenths. That would be silly. Six and five eighths overall with a 2.7 inch blade. This thing is sharp. It is 14C28N. They're kind of doing a mix between 14C and D2. Some of their bigger ones are OS 10. But they are using budget line steels, not crap steels like not a budget line like it's junk but they're using affordable nice decent steels in making these so that they can keep the prices down okay 
This one weighs in at 3.7 ounces. This is a JVO design. Jared Van Oder, um, he has designed a lot of these new slip joints. These are available today. All the ones that I'm going to be showing are available. Black G10, standstill, lock, bolsters, pins, all of that. There are some new ones coming that are not available yet that they wouldn't let me hold on to. I said, guys, we're already together. Just like, you have them here. I'm getting to see them. Just let me hold on to them and I will show them once you get them released. No, we'll just give them back to you at the time and whatever. I'm like, dang it. Because they're not the greatest at shipping. They're not that far away. They are coming to Napa a lot because they have their kitchen knives are in CIA, the Culinary Institute of America. Has a store here, restaurants here. There's a store in St. Helena, a store in Napa. And they stock the Mattia Baroni chef knife line. So they are in and out of the area. And I'm sure that we will get back together again next time. So... I am going to need your guys' help on these slip joints because they're not really my wheelhouse. I feel more confident talking about flippers and tactical type knives, thumb studs. I feel more comfortable with these. So I'm going to struggle through some of these slip joint ones. I really should have thought ahead and brought a big flipper out, but I, I didn't. <sighs> Missed opportunity. All right, here you go. Here it is with the Sharpie. Uh, with this North Arm, since I've just pulled that out, why not? And I don't want to bore you with the size comparisons. Here it is with a AA battery. Now, some of the other slip joints that I will be having are going to be smaller than this. There are some frame lock flippers. There are some uh, liner locks. There's, there's a whole variety of knives that I was you know, given to, to share. And these are going to go to some pass around groups um, because they want to get them out there to more people. So if you are, if you have another channel, Alex, Luck, any of these guys, any of my friends that have channels, big or small, let me know, hit me up, shoot me an email or something. And we can get some of these over to you to try out and film and do all that stuff with. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Please check out my big playlist up here in the corner. It's got all the custom ones that I own, the other customs that I have handled and filmed, plus adding in the Steelcraft line and all of these new budget-friendly Steelcraft line ones from their new factory. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks for sticking with me on these. I greatly appreciate it. <clears throat> if you've made it this far, comment down below. Warncliffe. Thanks, guys.